whether it be work in Ward 1 or work in Ward 6, everyone is very supportive of it because we all understand that in the long term of things, we're here to represent Jackson as a whole. That's Jackson Mayor Daniel Mahoney encouraging people to serve their community. The search continues tonight for a new representative for Jackson City Council's 5th Ward. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews, and this comes after the former council member resigned last month. News 10's Deanna Giles joins us here in studio to tell us what the city is doing about it. Deanna? David, the seat for Jackson City Council Ward 5 has been vacant for about a month, although council members say the work still continues to represent the entire city of Jackson. I feel like they are the mayor of their ward. They know what's best for the citizens that live in their neighborhood. Jackson City Ward 5 missing their mayor for about a month. Mayor Daniel Mahoney says everyone should experience public service at some point. That's why he's encouraging all those living in Ward 5 to serve on city council. We're getting some traction. We've got some good applicants uh, who have applied, um, but I think that, you know, there's always room for more because it's not an easy choice for us to decide who best represents a specific part of the community when really that should be done through an election process. With former council member Karen Bunnell resigning last month, that leaves city council members to interview and vote on the next Ward 5 representative. That person will serve until the August 2024 elections. There's a lot of emphasis that people have on national and statewide politics, but I think they don't realize that there's so much going on at the city level that affects everyone's day to day life. Jackson City spokesperson Aaron Demick says getting involved with local government means being a voice for your neighbors. Ward 1 Council Member Arlene Robinson says while the position remains vacant, we represent the city of Jackson. We may have a de designated area that we focus on but we do represent the entire city of Jackson. The work is not easy always either. We've got tough decisions to make, especially in this upcoming year. We've got a lot of work that we have, that we're looking to accomplish and we need that, we need that six ward person to make it happen. Now, if you are interested, you do have to be a resident of Ward 5 and a registered voter in that ward. Jackson City Council members are looking to fill the seat by the end of November. In the studio, Deanna Giles, News 10. Applications for the 5th Ward position close at 5 o'clock in the evening on Friday. For more information, visit our website, 